Have you ever thought about the structure of the Earth? What are the layers of the air above the Earth? How is water on Earth, such as oceans, rivers, clouds and lakes distributed? What are the Earth layers and its compositions? Why is Earth suitable for living things? The Earth systems consists of four main components which are interconnected, namely atmosphere, hydrosphere, biosphere, and geosphere. Let's learn one by one. Atmosphere is the air zone which covers the entire Earth's surface. It is essential to all life on Earth because it contains oxygen, which is the basic need for life, and carbon dioxide, which is essential for photosynthesis by green plants. Hydro means water. Hydrosphere is the water zone that includes rivers, lakes, seas, and also water trapped as ice, underground water, and water vapor in the atmosphere. About 71% of the Earth's surface is covered in water and the amount of water in the hydrosphere is maintained through the water cycle. Geo means Earth. Geosphere is the rock and soil zone on the Earth's surface. This refers to the solid parts of the Earth which include volcanoes, rocks, minerals, coal, oil, and other mineral resources. Bio means living things. Biosphere is the life zone consisting of living things such as plants, animals, and other organisms in the atmosphere, geosphere, and hydrosphere layers. Interaction between the four components create the suitable conditions for humans, animals, plants and other living things to sustain life on Earth. Let's learn more about our atmosphere. Atmosphere stratification shows how the atmosphere is divided into five different layers, namely troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere, and exosphere. Each layer in the atmosphere has different temperature and air pressure and has different roles. The air pressure decreases with the altitude in the atmosphere. The higher the altitude, the thinner the air and the lower the atmospheric pressure. The first layer is troposphere. It is about 0 to 13 kilometers from the Earth's surface. Troposphere is the closest layer to the Earth's surface. It is the layer where living organisms breathe, wind blows, and where clouds, rain, and snow form. Troposphere is heated by the heat reflected by the Earth's surface. Thus, the temperature decreases when the layer is further away from the Earth's surface. The second layer is stratosphere layer. It is about 13 to 50 kilometers from the Earth's surface. Stratosphere layer is a layer with no clouds and more suitable for air flights. This layer is important because it contains the ozone layer which absorbs most of the ultraviolet rays that are harmful to life. The ozone layer depletes when chlorofluorocarbon released from pesticides, refrigerators and air conditioners break down ozone molecules in the ozone layers. The third layer is mesosphere layer, 50 km to 80 km from the Earth's surface. Mesosphere layer is the coldest layer with low pressure. The temperature in this layer decreases with increasing altitude. 
the higher the altitude, the lower the temperature. Burning and destruction of meteoroids occurs in this layer. The fourth layer is thermosphere layer. It is from 80 to 480 kilometers from the Earth's surface. The temperature in this layer is very high as it receives much ultraviolet ray from the sun which is converted into heat. This layer is also known as ionosphere because it has charged gas particles. These charged gas particles are called ions and can reflect radio waves. Aurora a stream of colorful lights resulting from reactions of charged particles with Earth's magnetic field and atmospheric gases occurs here. The last layer is exosphere layer. It is 480 kilometers and above from the Earth's surface. Exosphere layer is the outmost and thin layer and becomes vacuum at about 700 kilometers from the Earth's surface. This layer contains light gases such as helium and hydrogen, satellites that play an important role in the field of communication orbiting in this layer allow phone calls and television broadcasts. troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere, and exosphere. These five different layers provide protection and also make life possible. The atmosphere contains the air that we breathe, protects us from the harmful radiation of the sun, helps to keep the planet's heat on the surface, and plays a very important role in the water cycle. Let's take good care of it. That's all for today's lesson. Thank you.